Hello, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this screencast, I want to look at code snippets, particularly the Code Snippets plugin. Code snippets are easy ways to customize your WordPress site, and the Code Snippets plugin makes it easy to use them. Let's take a look. So I have here a new development site and I've made a few customizations. I installed the Astra theme and the Astra child theme. Got rid of some of the uh, default themes. And I got rid of the default plugins. So now I want to install the code snippets plugin. And you see that it has 80,000 active installations. It was updated recently. It's got great reviews. And I have to say that the developer treats this plugin like a labor of love. He, he really seems to take good care of it. When you activate the plugin, you get a new uh, menu item here. And this is the UI for uh, entering a snippet. And you give it a title, you put your PHP code in here, and you don't put in the opening and closing PHP tags you have the option of where the snippet's going to run. It can run everywhere on the front end and the back end, only for the admin area, only on the front end. And there's the option to run the snippet just once, which I've never done, but I suppose you could. Uh, you put it in a description and some tags, and then you can save the changes and not activate it, so you can have it there, or you can have it there to use later, or you can activate it immediately. When you look at the settings, you see that mainly these are minor tweaks to the UI. And uh, I've never made any changes to them, but this interface is a code editor, and so those tweaks let you make some little changes there if you need to. So let me import a snippet. Uh, these are ones that I've created before and exported. And you can see that this is something that normally you would add to the WP config file, but you can do it here and it's a little bit easier. Or if your hosting makes it a pain to get in and modify the WP config file, then this is an option. And uh, I have it set to run on both since uh, I use a front-end editor. And let's import the other ones that I have. Here's one that I'll add. So when you look at the front end of WordPress, you see this menu item here, this menu. And in the meta widget, you have this login, logout menu item. Well, that's based on a WordPress function. So what I've got here is a code snippet 
that adds the logged in, logged out menu item to the default Astra menu. And to make this work, you have to know the menu locations as defined in the theme. And I've used this on several sites, and you might have to tweak some CSS to get it to look good. But this one, it just worked great. So I'm going to run it on the front end. Let's go ahead and activate that and take a look. And here's our login, logout menu item. Another one that is a time saver for me is you notice that when you're on the front end of the site, you have these options, dashboard themes, widgets, menus. Now, once I set the theme, I don't usually go there. Maybe if I'm making some tweaks when I'm setting it up. But I do go to the plugins menu quite often. And so what this snippet does is it adds a plugins link to that menu when you're on the front end. See? So I'm going to um, show you one more. And then the code for these will be on my website. And I'll have some links to some articles uh, around the web that also have snippets. And this one is um, I'm going to add a customize the logo on the login page. Now I told you when I set up the site before starting the screencast, I installed the Astra child theme. And I created a directory in that child theme called images and I put a logo in there. Okay, so this is the location here to the logo. And so I'm going to save that. Let's go and log out. And here's my custom logo. And you can see this is the tagline there. And uh, that's it. So I've been happy uh, using the Snippets plugin. It's a convenience. I have these snippets and I can apply them to different sites. Now I suppose there are two other ways you could use snippets. One would be to add them to your child themes functions PHP file. And that's actually the way I used to do it. But a couple of things have changed. One is that child themes are becoming less and less necessary since they added the custom CSS option to the customizer. The second thing is if you change a theme, then you lose some of these customizations and it's a pain uh, to go and find the snippets from the child theme, which may have been deleted or or whatever you have to FTP in and get them uh, so uh, I preferred using the snippets plugin over the child themes functions PHP the other option is to create a plugin and put the snippets there and that's a good option actually and if you're installing on a number of sites. It's an easy way to get these customizations rolled out. When I'm testing the snippets, however, putting them in a plugin is a little bit harder and more steps because you're making code changes. 
then logging into the site or going to the site and checking to see if they work and then going back and making code changes. So uh, this is an easier way to do it. And if you're applying the snippets to a production site, then you're not dealing with FTP and whatnot. So anyway, this has been a convenience for me. I hope it's a help for you. As I said, I'll have the code for these snippets that I've used here on the website below the video, and I'll also have a link to some other articles that have some code snippets that you might be interested in. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you.